Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of Ephesians chapter 5. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love just as Christ also loved you and gave himself up for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma. But sexual immorality or any impurity or greed must not even be mentioned among you, as is proper among saints. And there must be no filthiness or foolish talk or vulgar joking, which are not fitting, but rather giving of thanks. For this you know with certainty, that no sexually immoral or impure or greedy person, which amounts to an idolater, has an inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. See that no one deceives you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore do not become partners with them, for you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord." Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth, as you try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Those of us who are believers are supposed to imitate Jesus. That might seem impossible to us. After all, He was the Son of God. In fact, God the Heavenly Father even attested several times, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. How can we possibly live up to that? Thankfully, God knows we won't be perfect in this life. He knows we're still learning. Just like a parent who rejoices over a baby's first steps, so our Heavenly Father delights in our steps as we walk with Him. The goal is growth. Once a toddler walks, the parent's delight shifts to more mature achievements. As long as we keep growing in our faith, we will never cease learning new ways to please our Heavenly Father. He loves us and patiently cheers us on at each new level. What's important to the Lord is our heart. Amidst all our frailties, failures, and falls into temptation, God sees our inmost thoughts and motivations. He knows how much we love Him and desire to obey. Even in our stumbling, He helps us up and encourages us with His Word. If you're prone to perfectionism, give yourself grace and time to grow. That's what the Heavenly Father does, so learn to see yourself through His eyes. He's waiting, not to berate your efforts, but to help you develop into the person He designed you to be.